number of MDs, what medical condition manifests itself through hand sores? And the answer is immediate and unanimous, secondary syphilis. All right, I think I think there's a good chance this man has to clap. You got to be kidding me. The New Hampshire primary is just five days away. Big day for the GOP. Uh, it really is going to sort things through. But what about on the Democrat side? How do they see polls that Trump is now topping 50 percent in New Hampshire? I mean, he swept through Iowa, 98 of 99 counties. The one he lost, he lost by one vote. Nikki Haley this, Nikki Haley that. We'll see in New Hampshire. Uh, but she's like a step from being just a media story. And yet, James Carville says, you know, I know what the comeback kid is. I raised him with Clinton, 1992, New Hampshire. I'm not worried about Trump. I'm worried about something else. But he's also saying he's got syphilis. So let's bring the raging Cajun in. I'm saying that you're saying that guy has syphilis because you're worried about him. Well, and not just because you might have kissed him well, no. back in the day, but you're worried about it. Well, first of all, Chris, let's do a little back, uh, back digging up. If you recall Dr. Bornstein, who's Trump's internist and GI doctor. Uh, Healthiest Trump guy in the history of the world. Re- can, can, can <laughs> I, Trump sent goons to retrieve his self health records in January of 2017. We have not mm-hmm. seen them. And the, the fact of the matter is, is that skin discoloration can be a sign of secondary syphilis. We know that he's had relationships with porn actresses in the past because he's paid them off. It's a matter of public record. And I think a lot of people just want to gloss over this as some kind of a humorous thing. It might, it might be humorous. Uh, it, it, it might not. But you certainly can't say, given the fact that he's retrieved his health records, that don't let anybody see him, and that he's had some interesting relationships in his past, I wouldn't discount it at all. And, the, you know, I know you would break all kinds of things. That, well, OK, well, I don't think any, any rational reason person would say well, the guys brought up an interesting question. It'd be nice if we could get Hold an on. answer. Hold on. OK. Hold on. We th- this is classic political play going on here. There are many, many, right. many reasons other than an STD that he could right. have blisters right. on his hand. OK, in fact, statistically, it would be much more likely that it was a golf injury than it is an STD. But I get what you're right. doing. And let's see if they take the bait and they give you an answer. But more to the point, I don't really care about his hand. Why aren't you, why do you well, want okay. him to be the nominee? Well, why aren't you worried about his strength? Well, I don't, well, well first of all, I don't have any say on who the Republicans are. I just completely disagree with the description of Iowa. He got 51%. He's an incumbent mm-hmm. president. Linda, Eugene McCarthy got 42% in 1968. Unfortunately, I'm old enough to remember that. And Lyndon Johnson had to get out of the race. I'm, I'm not impressed at all with 51% in a state that is known to be older, and white and more Republican. Mm-hmm. It, I, I, I just don't see that as impressive at all. And, okay. and I'm not uh, in any way blown away, but I don't have any say. I don't, doesn't matter who I want them to nominate. God knows what they're going to do. I know. I just respect your perspective on it. And I think it's interesting right. that you are, you're fine with it being him. But you are worried about third party. Why and who? I am. Well, it's not so much that I'm worried about it. I I can read the political climate. I can look at polls. I can see the direction of the country. I can see satisfaction with the the presumptive two major party candidates. And I I, I think the third party is going to get a lot of votes. You know, I ran a campaign. The third party got 19 percent. And we weren't expecting Mm -hmm. that. We were expecting like 14 or 15. But, you know, politics is full of surprises. But and I see these polls and they all do the two way. And I don't think the two way is going to be the relevant number, but depending on ballot access, uh, there's there's going to be a, a more than usual hunger for an alternative to the two major parties right now. And it's kind of hard to deny that when, when you look across is, the spectrum of, of the research we have. Is Bobby Kennedy Jr. Uh, the name that haunts? Well, I don't know. I, you know, to say haunts is one thing. To make an observation is another thing. It, it, it's some, I don't think the polling is that. The turn to some polling says he actually hurts Trump more than, than Biden. You're talking mm-hmm. about a guy you're never going to see his health records, by the way. That would be one for sure. 
or, or you would never see anything about any prior drug use or any of that kind of nonsense. But right now, he's a convenient parking place for people. Uh, and, and sometimes people vote in elections, and particularly presidential elections, for reasons other than to elect the president. They might vote as a kind of protest vote, a vote to say, hey, look at me. Uh, I, I, I want a different choice. I don't know, but I do feel like the, the, mm. This is very, very right for a, a, a significant third party vote. I really do. I agree. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact driven coverage.